Hey guys, I'm Caroline and I have my friend here with me today. Hi, I'm Emery and I'm an eighth grader at Alito Middle School. And for your daily devotional today, Emery and I are going to teach you a way that we like to study the Bible and it's called a HEAR journal. So Emery, tell them what a HEAR journal stands for. So HEAR journals stand for highlight, explain, apply, and respond. Yeah, so the first thing that you do is highlight. So you pick a chunk of scripture, and we're going to choose a chunk that is what our new sermon series is over, which is Ephesians 2. And then you highlight the verses that you like in that chunk of scripture. And so I've already chosen that today we're going to highlight verses 1 through 3. And so Emery is going to read those for us. And you were dead in your trespasses and sins, in which you previously lived according to the ways of this world, according to the ruler of the power of the air and the spirit now working in the disobedient. We too all previously lived among them in our fleshy desires, carrying out the inclinations of our flesh and thoughts. And we were by nature children under wrath, as the others were also. Awesome, thanks. So after you highlight it, then the second is E, and it means explain. And so you basically just look at the verses and explain what do those mean. And so Emery is going to kind of explain what those verses meant to her. So um, I would say like we were all dead in our sin, and we all lived like our natural desires and to please ourselves. But the Bible tells you to live how Jesus lived, which was selfless and he always lived for other people. So I think this is just pointing out when you live for yourself, things won't work out for you. Yeah, absolutely. So that's a great way to explain those three verses. And then obviously the Bible, if we understand it and explain it, it really doesn't mean that much unless we apply it. And so the next thing is apply. And so I think the way that I would apply those truths and those scriptures, I think of two things. The first is that I would really try not to judge other people because the verses in reason they say that we all are sinners, like we all have a fleshly desire. And so I would really try to remember that and not judge people I see on social media or people I know or whatever, because we're all sinners. And then the second thing that I would want to do is be more thankful for Jesus and for what he did. I think a lot of times we can just kind of take it for granted, but those scriptures, they tell us that we deserved his wrath. And because of Jesus, we don't have to undergo his wrath anymore. And so I need to spend more time being thankful for what Jesus did for me instead of just kind of taking it for granted. So that's kind of how I would apply those verses in those two ways. And then after you highlight, explain, apply, then you respond. And the way that we respond is in prayer. And so after you read the scriptures, you pray kind of about applying those things to your life or about what those mean to you. And so Emery is going to pray to close us. Okay. Dear Lord, Thank you for saving us from our fleshly desires and the things that would have brought us to death. And I just want to pray that everyone would become more selfless and willing like you to everyone around and put others before themselves. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Emery. And thank you guys for doing the daily devotional with us. And that's how you do a hear journal. So we'll see you guys later.